Hey everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. In this episode we're going to be taking on Angler's Tunnel. This temple is freaking easy man. The boss, everything to it is so easy and it's kind of funny because this is the water temple within the game and yeah it doesn't really show because pretty much all the water type temples and levels within Zelda games are really difficult but Luckily, this one is actually really fun and doesn't really take much time. So we'll be able to cover this one just as fast as maybe covering the first temple within the game. Because, uh, yeah, like I said, it's easy. So hopefully I'll be able to show that off. But let's go ahead and get started by entering this room after we defeated all of those enemies. We now have access to it. We got a bunch of water tech types that we have to kill if we want to leave this room. But I came here for the small key, of course. And now we shall leave. So let's go ahead and just kill these bad guys. And... You know what? No, I like the music for this temple actually a lot, so I'm not going to bother picking that Guardian Acorn. I mean, yes, it will grant me more defense, but do I care? No. So, this room here is actually a dead end, and I wasted that key for no re reason to be exact, but hey, the door is open, so why the heck not? Anyways, we're going to come back to that room real soon, but we have to go ahead and pick up a couple stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. And actually, there's a lot of areas you can completely skip. And here's the room that we were just in. I got myself the stone beak, which I'm not really going to be using because, like I said, this temple's easy. So I don't need the stone beak. But, yes, as I was saying... <laughs> We are going to collect some stuff, and there are a couple, like, keys you can save within this temple that you won't have to use. Uh, because there are certain areas you can, like, maneuver around that the game doesn't intend you to, and you could just skip a lot of bullcrap. And I'll show you an example, uh, right after this if I can make the jumps. Let's go ahead and try to jump. Okay, that was a little way too soon. <laughs> Let's try again, so now I should do the trick, there we go, you have to do the rocks feather with um, the, the Pegasus Boots jump, you know, the ultimate jump that will give you enough air to actually make it across. And if you don't have bombs, there are actually bombs to the uh, right, or to the left entrance of the temple, I ignored that, but if you do need bombs, you can actually get like 10 bombs so you can get unlimited supply if you want just by exiting and coming back just another 10 bombs fill up on them as much as you want I might do that because it's an easy way to get bombs I like how they give it to you within the temple and I only have six more so might as well we'll see if I do come back there and I will so yeah let's go ahead and just crack open this and now I want to go ahead and use rocks uh, feather here so I can pick up this heart so I can recover myself but we got ourselves another small key I believe that is our second one now we're gonna backtrack to the very first room we were in not necessarily the very first room but the room where it had a locked door and I said it was useless and it actually had uh, the stone beak as well so to make your way to this room you actually have to jump to the other side but I believe there's a way where you can I, let's see if I can actually perform it properly okay I'm almost there if I don't do it now I give up. Okay, let's no, no, let's try one more time because I'm really stubborn. Okay, f forget it. <laughs> I was gonna try to. Okay, I'm just way too stubborn to let it go. God dang it, man! I was gonna try to like uh, maneuver, kind of like this, and make it to the other side. Uh, this will save you the use of using one of your keys, but that's it. And it's, as you can tell, kind of hard to kind of hard to do. I wanted to show it off, but for some reason. I'm just having so much trouble doing it as you can tell so we're just gonna go ahead and ignore that for now and hopefully we're not gonna die because I wasted a lot of HP getting to this point so there we go okay we're fine now we have to hear this, the blinking but that's okay okay we're not gonna die I'm fine I'll make it through a-okay no worries everybody <laughs> this room in particular is where I might struggle in but these are where the bombs are like I said and I shall pick some up in a second. Let's just go ahead and take out our shield. The game will let me. And then take out my um, sword. So I need to block this guy and then kill him. Oh, God! <gasps> heart, heart, heart. Give it to me. Okay, thank you. Let's go ahead and block this guy. Please drop a heart. Okay, he didn't, but that's fine. We got ourselves some HP. <laughs> it kind of sucks. Because I was like, oh, you can skip certain parts within this temple. And then I can't really even do it myself. That's how bad I am, but I believe if I do this... No, okay, you have to exit the temple entirely, or I guess walk a couple rooms far back for it to respawn. Kind of like how enemies generally respawn at certain points. But, yeah, I'm going to ignore these guys, 
and unlock this door so this is the door i could have avoided if i actually made that jump because this actually takes me up here to where uh if i go up one more screen you'll notice yes this room so i was trying to do that jump but i sadly fail i'm gonna go ahead and use my pegasus boots and hopefully make this jump okay no we can't fail anymore here there we go all right phew we're good we're in the clear guys we made a jump we're gonna use one of our small keys here we have to be really careful okay we trapped oh we trapped a guy so that's perfect let's quickly kill these guys a key will fall down into this pit don't worry we will get it later but let's go ahead and pick up this that ooh perfect and that's actually fine with us all right now I don't have a small key on me right now because we used both of our small keys to advance all right jump Ah, perfect ah okay that is bad that is really bad no oh geez this is not looking good for me come come to me come to me ah please drop a heart of course you didn't all right just make the jump we're fine ah all right come on <laughs> why did i put myself into this there we go. Obviously, we're not getting anything from these guys. That's just great. This guy's gonna hit me, isn't he? Let's wait for him to jump and fly somewhere. All right, perfect. Do, 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 do. All right, we're good. That was close. Maybe these jars will give us what we need. Of course not. This is what I need. All right, so this room, ignore that. I just went inside this room so I can get a chance to clear my thoughts as I pick up his piece of heart. And yes, sadly, that guy was under there, but yes another heart and perfect okay ignore this room for now we're gonna come back to this room real soon but we want to go ahead and pick up this small key so now we can head back to that black door that i showed off and we'll be able to take on the mini boss so we'll actually open up a shortcut so i don't have to worry about actually giving getting a game over because if i do end up getting a game over then we're fine um and that is because all right please just jump over and that is because we'll have the the, the power of teleportation because it's gonna be the red portal that appears that will allow us to teleport here ah oh, that was really rude no get away jeez all right just go just go just keep jumping just ignore everything in sight or right, the key already fell down so it's not gonna do it again all right so here's the mini boss I think we can kill him without actually getting hit and uh, that's not really hard Yes, guy, you just want to go ahead and use your Pegasus boots, run and chase him with your sword out so you can hit him like that, and then he will start chasing you, and then you chase him again, since you're so much faster with the Pegasus boots out, you'll be able to hit him, and I think it takes like four hits or something, so you want to go ahead and do that until he is dead. Uh, make sure you actually run with the Pegasus boots, because you got to surpass him so you can actually whack him in the butt with your sword really important so there we go and let's wait and then start running I believe he might change his direction if we get too close the last time or not okay well we got him done right now we're done okay that's the mini ball so we're not done yet don't get too excited my friends <gasps> yes now give this to me perfect all right this room we got these uh these moving switches that will try to crush us not really gonna try to crush us but uh, we want to pull one back so we can uh, have it all the way back and then quickly run as fast as we can here In this room we're actually gonna pick up the temple item the item of the temple and that is the flippers with the flippers we can now swim don't worry you don't have to equip it like your sword so yeah and we can dive underwater for a short period of time now kill these baddies for something important which I'm gonna do right now if I can actually hit him, really, I'm pretty sure I got a, got a good whack on the butt. Or whatever, ignore him. Okay, one, two, just follow this path. And it won't really do anything major for you. Uh, essentially, what it's going to do is it's going to... You just want to memorize the path that you just currently did. So, push this, head inside this room, and rinse and repeat that exact same uh, pattern you went through, which went like this. It's kind of like you're drawing a star, I guess. For those who drew the stars with the lines in between, I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, it doesn't go exactly like this, actually. Never mind. I don't know why, but it was easy to memorize because it kind of reminds me of I'm trying to draw like a star or something. But 
Let's go ahead and continue on. You got these swamp looking guys. They have one eye and they look really happy when you come crashing down. They're like, oh, what's going on? Haha, <laughs> I gotcha. But you didn't really get me. All right, let's go ahead and have him do that again so I can, okay, let's not fail. Fall down so I can jump. Oh my God, come on. Fall down so I can jump on you. Perfect. Nope. And I failed it again because I didn't make the jump. Oh my god. Okay. Wait. Jump in the air. There we go. Now, let's go and pick up this. The Nightmare's Key. Sweet, right? Yes, I know. It is pretty darn sweet. Actually, you know, I just realized this is kind of like a shortcut. So we don't have to walk all the way back. I just go ahead and head in here. I don't really think of about that the first time, and I want to head inside that room soon, but I'm going to ignore it for now, and as you can tell, yeah, it's so much easier to maneuver now that we have the, um, the flippers. But right now we're on the final stretch of this. We need, I believe, two more small keys, and we should be golden. One small key fell down here, which I'm going to go ahead and pick up in a second. Actually, that second will be about now, and you need the flippers for this. That's why I didn't do this earlier, so... Okay, really? No, 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 no. Oh, that was close. Putting myself in a lot of sticky situations here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I'm doing that, but I am. I guess I'm just playing really recklessly. But alright, it's it's all good. Let's go and actually press start and see what's going on. Oh, uh, you know what? I don't have the... I completely forgot to pick up the dungeon map! I was right by the dungeon map and I never picked it up. How, how could I do that? That is so... <sighs> Um, right, that's fine. Um, I'll pick it up in a second. Let's just go ahead and take out the items we need to backtrack. Perfect. All right, now we can just swim over here, pick up this chest. Please just pick it up. Perfect. Got ourselves more rupees, but now I believe we do have the small key that I needed. Yes, we do. Okay. So all that's left is a dungeon map because I completely forgot about that. And uh, if I can actually perform the jump I was speaking of, then maybe I can redeem myself. There we go. We did it. All right. Finally. Now I can actually pick up this. This is what I wanted to get. Um, hey, I did it, right? <laughs> I'm pretty happy now. I was able to show it off. So you're not supposed to make that jump, apparently. At least I'm assuming the game intends you not to because... Uh, you can easily skip an area where you need a key. Now, the reason why I'm backtracking here, I should be actually heading the other way. And the reason for that is because, okay, please don't die right here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <gasps> Alright, we're good. Because I want to head back here, inside this portal. Because I was kind of lazy to walk all the way back, or make the jump again. So I thought I'd just do this. Okay. I going to say, oh, snap, we don't have the item we need, but we do. Okay. Which is the sword. Because I thought I unequipped in my sword. But I'm going to get a heart from here. Yes, perfect. You may say, wait, Zelda Master, this is kind of risque. But no, there's actually a heart over there. I don't even need to pick it up, though. That's how uh, confident I am for what's up ahead. Okay. So be careful. Avoid these guys. Step on the switch. Now the final stretch. Like I said, there's a heart there. I can pick it up. But I'm not. I'm actually going to make my way to the final stretch where the boss is without picking up any hearts. I, mean, I love how we can swim in 2D like this. It's actually really cool. But, yeah. I know that's risque, and uh, I'm most likely going to get a game over here. But do I care? No. So the boss is just right up ahead. It's going to kill these uh, Zoles. And do this. All right, here we go. Time to take on the boss, everybody. Oh, my God. It's time to do this. All right. So, bloop, bloop. This is the, uh, the boss. He is difficult. You just need to be careful as you kill him in two hits, especially if you have red lane. So there we go. We did it. <laughs> yeah, that's the angler's fish, I believe. Talk about a pain, right? Not really. He's, he was way too easy. <laughs> so yeah, he died way too fast. Didn't even get hit once, even though he summoned one of his little fishies. And it's over. So there we go. Let's go ahead and pick up the harp. So you got the surf harp. Bay, your road goes into the bay. 
All right, guys. Well, that does it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. So much for Angler's Tunnel. Pretty easy, right? Yeah. <laughs> but thank you all so much for watching. I've been Zelda Master, and I'll see you all in the next episode of Link's Awakening DX. Bye. <laughs>